Kowalski. And we've got a dandy of a matchup here at 125 as it's Spencer Lee, the three seed, taking on Nick Piccinini. And Eric, these guys have a great history coming into this one. Fourth meeting overall for these two. Spencer Lee won the first round. The first matchup, 10-5, second by fall, and then it was Piccinini, of course, in gallagher Ibe Arena earlier this season who picked up the fall, stunning the wrestling world over Spencer Lee with that cradle, but it's Spencer Lee here early and in a high crotch. And on that right leg, gets an elbow deep, swipes at the left leg. Uh, Piccinini goes for the splits here. Trying to get a whizzer in, but he doesn't have quite the angle here. Up around the left arm of Lee. Lee again going for the pitch, and he gets the two. First takedown of the match goes to the Hawkeye. And that's what you want to see. Spencer Lee come out early, come up to his feet on his shots, and finish those shots early. And speaking with Coach Brands earlier, he said, we like what we have. It doesn't matter about one duel. It matters about a national championship, and that's what they're focused on here tonight. Piccinini last year did not All-American, but in 2017, fourth place at this weight class. And this is where Spencer Lee has to win this match is in the top position. He is one of the best wrestlers in getting tilts in the top position. You're seeing it here. Yep. He's got Piccinini in a predicament here. He's going to get, let's see, no swipes, according to our head official, Mike McCormick, on the whistle in the center mat, and Matt Sorchinski supporting him. So a tilt to tilt. Nice Spencer Lee. Able to belly out is Piccinini. Piccinini tries to get his hips out. Pressure coming from the right side by Lee. Now he's going to elevate that. Elbow deep on the ankle. He's got to get moving. And there's going to be a stalling called by Mike McCormick on Spencer Lee. Spencer Lee looks over to the corner to Coach Brands. And they're saying it's okay, don't worry about it. But that's an important call, especially if it's going to be a close match. Later on, we'll pay attention to that in the third period. But like you said, that's only the first stall warning. And he's going to cover back on top. And John Smith and company in the corner there. Piccinini kicks away, he faces. And he's on the board with an escape here. About two minutes into the first period to a head inside single. His hands are locked, but Spencer Lee, you're seeing those hips parallel. Getting those shoelaces to the mat, but Piccinini getting to the shot. And I always say there's three levels to the shot. You got to get to your tie, you have to get to your shot, and you have to get to your finish. So he got to his tie, got to the shot. The only thing left to do is get to your finish. Piccinini undefeated coming in, and the closest match he had was a 2-0 win over Brent Fleetwood of North Dakota State and the Big 12 Championship. A 2-0 win, Fleetwood a transfer from Central Michigan. And how about that? You talk about the transfer from Central Michigan. They would also have Justin Oliver. He transferred out, and Brent Fleetwood, he transferred out, and one other guy, I'm blanking on transferred out, but that's three guys that they would have had transfer out of Central Michigan. Good hand fighting at center mat. And kind of Lee standing his ground towards the middle there, Eric. And this is good for Piccinini. If you can get out of the opening period only down 2-1, to one, but keep in mind Spencer Lee does have riding time, but I'm sure that's not going to be a factor. That's the end of the first. Flip of the disc. Choice goes to Piccinini. He looks over to his corner. He's going to defer. And Lee... Coach Brands advises him, he'll go down. Good opportunity for Piccinini to erase that riding time. Lee was a four-time Pennsylvania State champion. Many accolades at the prep level. And we said, rematch of last year's quarterfinal between these two. Good hand control. Clearing his hip is Lee, but Piccinini adjusts, puts the pressure forward, and collapses Lee back down to the mat. Doing a good job of staying underneath those arms, staying behind Spencer Lee. And he's wrist fighting, and you see he has the two-on-one to the right side wrist. Now he has to do something with this capitalized. When you, you don't get a lot of opportunities against Spencer Lee to get a two-on-one, and he's going to want to roll through here. 
Good. Finding by Lee. Gets to his feet. Hip heist. He's free and he got the escape. So the Hawkeye now up 3-1. to one. He goes on the attack. Vicinini has to retreat. Goes between the legs right in front of the Oklahoma State corner. He's going to put some forward pressure through the legs on Lee. Lee now goes to a split. He's going to try to drive. Has his right foot in. Can he secure the two? He does. Great job from Spencer Lee. Understanding where he was on the out-of-bounds line. And just continued to push pressure on Piccinini until he got that left hip down. And once that hit, the two was awarded. And from that coaching perspective, not only does he get the escape, goes right on the attack. And you always like, as a coach, to see not just be you know content to get to your feet. Great point. That stuck out to me. Yeah, it was, there was no break in the action. He did allow the referee to get the one point and then jumped right back in. And that's special. That's what, he's world class. He's going to be... And this is dangerous. Look at this. Piccinini on the roll. Kind of looked like he was going to go towards a near side cradle. But Lee able to retreat, get to his base. And now Piccinini trying to chip away at Lee's riding time as we've got a two-point match going on right now. The Hawkeye leading the way. It will be Piccinini's choice to start period number three. And he deferred in the first. Lee taking down. So we're in the closing second. Short time, second period. 125-pound semifinal. The winner here faces either top seed at Rivera of Northwestern or Mueller of Virginia making his second long trip into the bracket. There being the NCAA Nationals. There's an escape for Lee. And that's going to be as time expires. And the choice, as you said, Eric, goes to Piccinini. And I had to clean up some blood here. How about over to our left? Mueller has the major decision right now. And if you remember, Jack Mueller two years ago made a deep run at Nationals. Kind of a bracket buster of sorts in 2017. And if I'm not mistaken, he did start the season at 133 because he couldn't wrestle. And there were rumors that Ben Kamali was potentially going to start at one have to start at 125 because Mueller wasn't able to make the weight and now he's here about to pick up a potential major decision in the NCAA semifinals. Piccinini as he started on bottom they cleaned up the blood and on the start he's finding hands now gets his hips clear trying to crowd Lee but Lee recovers now he's going to pinch that leg drive him for Piccinini now trying to kick away claw hold by Lee as he comes from the left side also pinching that left leg of Piccinini. Piccinini staying active on bottom here. Chain wrestling. 30 seconds into the final frame of regulation. 30 seconds of running time accumulated by Tri Lee here. And you're seeing Lee stay on those toes. He's staying active in that top position. He understands that he does have that stall warning already. So if he gives up another stall warning, that would be a point. And then a potential escape would just make this match too close. And the Hawkeyes don't want that. Out of bounds, Mike McCormick will reset them. Just a little bit over one minute left to go. Regulation, a three-point lead for Spencer Lee. The defending champion. Another loss coming on the year four lead. And the mix was Rivera in the duel against the Wildcats of Northwestern. Here's Piccinini to one knee, fighting those hands, trying to crowd him on the right side. Now Lee's going to pull him back, and he's over the one minute. So now he says, I can let you go because I've got that riding time in pocket. So essentially a three-point lead. Piccinini had him behind there, couldn't bring him down. Hip heist by Lee to square back off with him. And that's why you have to stay low on Spencer Lee because he does that hip heist out, able to get his hips away. And he has to get going. He can't wait for Spencer Lee. Piccinini. Now in a defensive position. Short time here in regulation. The Hawkeye, Lee up 6-4, to four, really 7-4 to four if it ended right now. Ten seconds. Piccinini's got to go big here as he's anchored through the legs and a stalemate with just 10 seconds left on the clock. On the attack, Piccinini's going to 
Looks like he's going to run out of time, and he gets covered by Lee. The takedown as time expires, and there'll be four additional, actually two additional back points there. And when it's all said and done, Spencer Lee heading to the national championship tomorrow night with an 11-4 win. They're watching.